Hi, I'm Jeff, one of the founders of Planning Pod, and uh, we're going to take a look at how you can build out social distancing uh, table layouts for events, event venues, and restaurants. Uh, before we get started here, um, we're going to follow the six foot or two meter uh, distancing recommendations um, recommended by the Centers for Disease Control in the U.S., but we uh, recommend that you consult your local government or your local public health agencies and see what your local requirements and regulations are for building out your own social distancing floor plans. So we're going to start with a template, just a room outline template here uh, that uh, for one of the rooms that we're going to create a table layout. We're going to start off by first of all um, determining the width of our aisles. So the clear space that people need for egress and ingress. We're going to use a rectangle shape um, and we're going to uh, we're just going to make it nice and gray so that uh, it's, it stands out off of the white. Um, we're going to make this um, just going to add a little label here, and we're going to make this the pretty much the length of this entire um, room, and we're going to make the depth um, be 12 feet, um, so that there's six feet on each side. So if you're walking down the center, um, you've got um, safe and assured distance. We're going to position that here right in the middle of our floor plan. So that is our um, aisle space, our clear aisle space. And we're going to build out a second aisle right here from this other entrance. Um, so one thing you might want to keep in mind is, you know, building out aisles or clear space for um, attendees, uh, patrons, diners, whoever is going to be in the facility, and uh, as well as staff, whether it's wait staff, servers, um, event staff, whoever it might be, so that they can pass freely um, and still maintain a six foot distance with uh, the attendees or other people who are at the event. So we're gonna position that other one right here. There are now my clear spaces for egress and ingress. And what we can do in our tools um, is we're gonna save these as favorites so that we can use these same um, aisles um, in other floor plans. Um, uh, that's one benefit of using our software is you can save uh, <clears throat> either um, custom elements or modified elements from that, that already exist in our floor plans tool. Uh, you can save them as favorites so that you can use them over and over again. So I've created the first one. I'll just create the second one. You just have to click on that star icon in the top left corner. I'm gonna just add a, and basically you select the item, cl click on the star icon, give it a name and it becomes a favorite. So now once we're done with these aisles and here's how basically you can um, take one of those favorites and add it to your floor plan instantly. Now we're gonna look at some tables. So we're gonna click on the tables and seating icon there. Uh, we're gonna start off by adding some tables at the top. We're gonna start off by adding some four foot square tables up there. I played around with this a little bit before I started out um, here, but um, one, one thing you can do with Planning Pods um, layout software is select how many rows and how many tables per row of this particular table you want. And if they're gonna be just in a standard grid or staggered, and clear area width and length are very important because these parameters will determine how far apart your tables are positioned automatically by our software. Um, so once I save this, here's the array. Everything's pre-selected. So I just click on one of them and it moves all of them so that I can position it properly in the space. And so there we go. Looks like everything fits nice and tidy. Now I'm gonna go get the ruler tool inside of our floor plans. And oh, before I do that though, well, yeah, I'm gonna go get the ruler tool. I'm gonna go grab that. Um, I'm gonna pull it over here and I'm just gonna show you um, using the ruler tool that this is, this is in fact six feet apart. So I'm just gonna grab that there and I'm gonna straighten out the ruler there. And as you can see, if somebody's at those tables um, with their seats pushed out, they're still six feet apart. So. Uh, depending upon, again, your local regulations, maybe um, people only require the actual tables themselves to be six feet apart and not when the seats are pushed out. But we're going we're gonna, to um, err on the side of caution and safety here. And now I'm going to save this particular table type, this four foot square with social distancing area around it so that if I need to use this for another floor plan, I can just 
um, either put a single one in or I can put another array like I've done here. All right, so there's our square tables at the top. Um, now let's add some round tables. We're gonna add some five foot rounds to this space down here. Um, so we're gonna pick out that. And again, um, I'm gonna create the uh, a, a, a multiple table array of two rows. And let's say, let's put four tables per row. Um, you can, again, choose grid or staggered. You can put more tables in a grid, so I'm gonna choose that. And I'm gonna select a clear area di diameter around this table, again, to ass assure that, that uh, people sitting in seats when they're pushed out are six feet apart. And I'm gonna change it to six chairs per table. Um, and here, I'm gonna position that right here. And it comes pretty darn close to fitting in that space, although the gray area again is clear area. So um, we've, got, we've got ample clear space there. Um, I'm going to duplicate my ruler and you can see right here those seats you know are now six feet apart if somebody's pushed out from the table um, and i'm going to you can click on this item right here to show the clear areas around the tables so that dotted line is the clear area space that we allotted for each table and you can see if you go down right down the center there um, whoever is entering or exiting this area um, we'll have ample space um, to clear. And we're going to take that favorite, that square favorite that we created, and we're going to create a little grid of two by two right here. And you can see the clear areas are what we had already preset for that favorite table. And we're just going to drop it right here. So that is how you can set up um, a table or table arrays for socially distancing using our clear space and um, our uh, multi-row table functions. Uh, oh, one thing you know I forgot to do was I did not save my round table. Um, so I'm just gonna go over there and do that right now. Oh, here we go, there's the clear, clear areas again. I'm gonna select, select that, click on the favorites, add the uh, the name of the, the favorite I'm saving here, which is a five foot round with social, dis social distancing area around it. And there's my favorite. And that's how you can build out your um, social distancing table arrays. Um, you can see up here at the top, we also provide you with a seat count um, so that you can see how many seats are in your arrangement. Well, thanks for stopping by, but if you have any questions, please let us know.